you're craving a quick and easy wonton man recipe, then this video is for you. We'll make a juicy shrimp and pork wonton along with egg noodles and bok choy. All together, we get a fantastic wonton man for dinner in one hour. And don't worry if you can't eat all the wontons we make, we'll freeze it at the end and you can have dinner ready in five minutes in the future. So let's get cooking. In a large bowl, use scissors to cut up one bunch of garlic chives, one bunch of green onions, Then cut six rehydrated shiitake mushrooms. And cut about one pound of medium shrimp into halves. Then add two pounds of ground pork. Notice we're using scissors rather than a knife. I find it's just faster if you don't have time to clean everything up. Next, add two tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix it all together until we get a nice juicy and bouncy filling. Next, make a slurry with water and one tablespoon of cornstarch as our glue. In a medium thick wonton wrapper, add about one and a half tablespoons of filling Then wet two edges as seen and fold in half. The fold we're doing today is super simple to save time, but feel free to do what you like best. We'll end up pulling together the two opposite edges to the one corner, and that's it. Put this aside and rinse and repeat. Make sure you try to get as much air out from the inside as possible to avoid the wontons from later popping open when cooked. This recipe makes about 45 wontons. In a pot of boiling water, we'll blanch some bok choy. Then cook our noodles. Put this aside and then boil our wontons. We'll allow the wontons to cook until they start to float for about one to two minutes. And boom, we have a quick and easy wonton men dinner. This meal is great for dinner and the wontons freeze really well, making this a future dinner that can be ready in five minutes with little hassle. The garlic chives in particular are my favorite ingredient to use, so be sure to give that a try and also let me know in the comments below what your favorite wonton style is. If you try this recipe, then of course let us know as well, and we'll see you next time.